This is a step up moment just for you. Enjoy. Hey guys, this is Keith Harley. How are you today? Listen, I just want to check in with you. You know, sometimes I love to do these step up moments where I send you a little message of something that has come to me that I think is, a, a, is important. Um, one of the things that I want to talk about as we're quarantined and we're in the house and we're staying home and we're trying to stay healthy, you're taking your vitamin C, drinking lots of water, getting some exercising. But in addition to that, what I want you to do is I want you to focus on limiting your watch of the news. Don't get bombarded with the news because then you become confused because there are so many people saying so many things and giving you different stories, so on and so forth, and it just gets confusing. So people just don't know what to do. And then fear steps in. And if you're trying to stay healthy, if you're trying to stay active and you're trying to stay productive, uh, when fear steps in, then what happens is you become paralyzed and depressed and you're unable to move. Well, that's not where we want to be. So you want to limit the amount of time that you're looking at the news. Secondly, those of you who are posting sending people messages and their private messages. I heard this, look what I saw, pass this on. Um, this is what happened over in China. This is what happened in Korea. This is what we heard from Iran. This is all this stuff. If we don't know if it's true, don't pass it on. But in addition to that, for those people who are sending it out, on the people who are receiving it on the other end, remember there are some people that are home alone, that don't have any type of guidance or understanding, or they don't talk to many people, they're introverts. You know, that puts fear in them. So understand what you're putting out, how other people can be affected by it. So let's just be very careful of what we're passing out, what we're sending out to people in private messages, and group text and so on and so forth because you just don't know who you're affecting and who you're scaring. This is a very, very serious matter. And nothing is more important than emotional management and your mental state and your physical state and just being able to cope with all this. You know, uh, we've been shut down for about two and a half, three weeks and it hasn't been easy. So you have to get up, you have to get focused, you have to be intentional, you have to have a list of things to do to get your day going, you put some clothes on, take a shower, you know, drink lots of water, do some reading, some motivational reading, and watch who you're talking to. Someone is constantly having negative stuff to talk about and constantly talking about the news. Just shut it down change the subject and start talking about something else. You know, it, it just it just gets overwhelming, you know. So just make sure that you're looking at the time you're looking at the news, you're looking at the time that you're on social media and what you're paying attention to and what you're reading. You're take, paying close attention to, to what you're putting out there, what you're sending to your friends and your family and associates and clients and, um, just be informed and, and, and listen when it's necessary and know who to listen to it from. Know who to take information from that's pertinent, that directly affects you. Okay, guys? So listen, stay home, stay happy, get active, have a list of things to do, you know, uh, 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 go out for a walk, but keep your distance. You know what to do. You know, now they're saying uh, to wear a mask over your face. It won't hurt. If you can, wear a mask on your face. And if you're going to the grocery store, wear gloves. And make sure that when, you, when you're in the grocery store and you're getting in your car and you have your wipes and you're wiping stuff down and, and don't, you know, when you have your gloves, take them off before you go in the house and we, you know, and, and wash your hands and, you know, I'm crazy. What I do is I take, I keep uh, my bleach wipes 
in the car with me, I wipe my hands down and my phone and my wallet and my keys. I wipe everything down. You know, you can't be too safe. So that's what I do. Uh, that's just telling you what I do. If you choose to do that, that's fine. I even wipe down the door handles on the car because I'm going in and out. So that's how I handle things. Keep it positive. You know, just be mindful of your mental state, your physical state, and uh, reach back out to me. Let me know how you're doing. I want to know how you're doing. You know, one of the things that I focus, uh, I, I, I made a commitment of the first of the year. I said I was going to honor the friendships that I have and cultivate new ones. So let's stay in touch. Let's stay connected. And let's stay informed. And last but not least, let's stay home. Okay, guys, hope you're having a fantastic Monday. You are ready, you're ready for an incredible week. And stay connected. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. This Step Up Moment has been sponsored by Trends by Keith Harley and his favorite things. Check it out.